Okay, hopefully you've watched our threading videos. Now we're gonna show you, we've already shown you the full threading and now we have a top and bottom cover stitch. We're gonna show you just how to do it where it's just the bottom looks like uh, the cover stitch, bottom cover stitch uh, with the three needles on the top, okay? So we're gonna run it, we're gonna show you what it looks like now and then we're gonna just, okay, I'm ready whenever you are. Okay, so which thread is that? Is that the upper yeah. looper? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're cutting uh, one of the looper, th it's not even a looper, it's the spreader. Spread. Okay. So now we're not gonna use that thread? Yeah. So he's just gonna leave it there temporarily, off to the side. Okay, you could take it out if you want, but then you gotta re-thread the whole thing. So that's how simple, I believe, to make just the three needle top covers. Go ahead, so. All right, let me take a look at that. There you go. So you now got three needle on the top. Let's see the bottom. And the bottom looks still cover stitch on the bottom. Top. So this is just a top uh, or a bottom cover stitch with three needles. Okay. Now just as simple for the, now what I want to show is just the two wide. So do mm -hmm. we just cut the middle yeah. needle and take the needle out? You have to have the, the middle needle. Yeah. Okay. So now this is going to be just as simple. We're going to cut the middle thread and take out the needle. Do you need to grab a tool for that? Go ahead, I'm, I'll pause it. Okay, so we just had to grab the tool for the needle. Can you show that tool? It's just uh, the little uh, Allen wrench screwdriver or hex key, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the middle thread. We wanna make it wi the wide. Cut the, the, this one, right? The middle, yeah. yeah. Yep. Cut here. Oh, you're gonna cut it here. Yeah. Okay, so wait one sec. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna cut the middle thread, but he's gonna cut it all the way back over here. Otherwise it could te technically get in the way. So you're gonna leave it in that tension discs. Okay, so when you have to re-thread it, you're gonna have to go through the threading directions again. So now he's turning the hand wheel. All right, now. Got the needle in the up position. We're gonna remove the needle. Let me get real close in there so you could see how he's doing this. He's cutting the thread and then he's gonna remove the needle. So that's the, the middle one. Loosen that Allen wrench or hex key screw. I'm gonna grab the tweezer and pull the needle down. Take it out. to turn the wheel a little more to get it in the highest position to get that needle out. You may even, there you go, okay. All right, now we just have the two outside needles and we remove the thread and now we're ready to sew again. And this is probably the most popular stitch. So let me zoom back out. This is that two needle you would see on like the bottom of a t-shirt. Okay, and on the other side, flip it around again and you've got the bottom cover stitch. So that's the bottom cover stitch with two needles. Now you could do this with, with you could do it uh, more narrow if you want. You could take out another needle and if you wanna do it more narrow, take out one of the other needles. Um, I don't suggest doing it with one needle. I don't even know if you can, but with you could do it with any of the two needles. Okay? So then, uh, that's basically it. Is there anything else we should show? Nothing else? All right, so there's a brief lesson on how to use the uh, cover stitch. Oh, there is something else I wanna show. Okay, I'm gonna pause this back in one second. Okay, so now we're gonna show you how to make the stitch longer or shorter. Basically, this knob right here, if you turn it clockwise, that's gonna make the stitch longer. If you turn it counterclockwise, it's gonna make the stitch shorter, okay? So what are you gonna do? Long. long. So we already set it to a real long stitch. Okay. You want to make it shorter now? So he's turning it counterclockwise out. It's going to come out a little bit. He's going to show you a shorter stitch. See how short the stitch is there? Look like it skipped a little bit.
Okay. Okay, if you see the difference between the two, one shorter. This is the long stitch, the one on the other side is a short stitch. Okay? Anything else? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we're just trying to figure out why it skipped the stitch. Basically, this the, this the needles we have the in there are very is, light. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. This material this is, is very it's very thick and it's uh, more dense than this. So if we look on this one, you can see it does a perfect stitch. There's no skips to it. So you just got to make sure you use the right size needle. Oh, that's what I want to show. The last thing I want to show you is how to put the needle in correctly. So let's grab the other needle and put it back. Where's the needle? The, the... Grab that needle. Oh, the needle. Yeah, the needle. Oh. I'll pause it. Okay, so this is the needle for the machine. It's a UY128GAS. This one is a size 10. If you look where it says NM70-10, 70 is the European size, 10 is our size. Okay, so we're going to show you how to change the needle uh, just to make sure that you put it in correctly. I'm going to have Alberto put the needle here if you can. And I'm going to show you the different sides of the needle, even though this is a very small needle. Let's see if I can zoom in on this properly. There we go. Okay, so there's a groove that goes down. Okay, so this is the actual... Give me the tweezer for a second here. Okay. So, right here, this is the shank. So from the shank there's no groove. From down here there's a groove that goes all the way down the needle. You could put your nail in it if you wanted to. But the most important thing is on the other side of the needle. Can you turn the needle around so we can see the, the other side? Keep going. Turn it to the other. You see that groove in the middle? I don't know if you can see it. Sort of the focus isn't that great. Okay, turn it again to the other side of the needle. Stop. Go back a little bit. There we go. Okay, now right at the, the bottom of the needle there, above the eye of the needle, you see, I know I'm shaking a little bit, let me brace myself. Okay, right above the eye of the needle, turn the needle a little bit, Alberto, turn it a little. Turn it, yeah, just, okay, you see that? Keep going back and forth. See that little groove there, keep going? Go again, go, go, go. Keep coming, there we go, that groove right there, right above the eye of the needle, there's a groove. That always goes to the back of the machine. Okay, so when we, front, when we thread it front to back, that groove at the bottom of the needle there, okay, even though I'm shaking like crazy, uh, you can see that there's a cutout at the bottom of the needle. All right, can you point to it the, with this? Point to the, the groove at the, on the needle, near the eye of the needle. Okay, see right above where he's got that, you see the groove? All right, so give me that to me for one second. Right there, there's a groove. That groove goes to the back, and I'm sorry for me shaking, it's just this is sort of hard to hold like this. All right, so that groove goes to the back. Okay, we're gonna wanna put the needle in now. You're gonna use the tweezer again to put the needle in. Just make sure that groove goes to the back. Because the needle's round, the whole shank is round, and I'm sorry I'm repeating myself, but this is very important. Otherwise, the machine will not pick up the stitch properly. Make sure you push that all the way up to its highest position, and then you have to turn it to make sure that that groove is at the back. Okay, so if I zoom in again, on these needles, we see the groove down the center. Hold on, let me get where I could actually brace myself. Let me zoom out a little bit. We call that groove on the needle, and I can't really get it because it's focusing on other stuff right now. Let me. See. The groove that goes down the front of the needle is a groove. The one in the back of the needle is more of like a half moon little cutout at the bottom. Okay, so while you're holding that, you're gonna tighten the screw, okay? He's holding it with one finger. 
and that's going to go for each of the needles. They go in the same way, and you're going to tighten each of those uh, Allen wrench or hex key screws. All right, and then you rethread, and then you got the three needle, or you could do the top cover stitch and rethread the machine, just like we showed you in the other video. Okay, so hopefully that's answered all questions. I hope I didn't make it too confusing and long-winded. I probably did. My apologies. Um, so if you have any questions, just give us a call, 773-486-1779 uh, or 486-1784, and then toll-free 888-505-4565. I am Steve from SewingGold.com, and this is Alberto. He's the one who knows how to thread it. Um, if you have any questions, like I said, just give us a call or shoot us an email. Thank you.